This is my dream car, a 1967 Mustang. It's beautiful, but there's still a few things that I need to do to it to make it just right for me. In 1967, there was an option to have fog lights in the grill here. I'm going to install those fog lights. These are all the parts you need to install the fog lights. They all come separately, so you could find each part number and order them. Or CJ Pony Parts makes it easy, not sponsored. On their website, just search Fog Light Kit and they'll have all of the parts already selected for your model. I think the first thing you need to do is install the wings. So, it looks like I have to remove this emblem. That should do it. Well, it looks like they key in like that. Put these studs in here now on either side. Now I'm just going to bolt it up exactly where it went before. And now I'll put in these mounting brackets. They included these little clips, there are screw clips, one goes on the bottom, one goes up here, and then it screws in from the top and bottom there. Bolt it onto the studs. And I'll tighten that up and do exactly the same to the other side. Next step is to mount the lights. I'm going to put the bulbs in first. It's got two screws. I really torqued in those screws. Can't get the screw out. Well, let's try this one. If you look, there appears to be a half assed attempt to solder the terminals on there. It's a cold solder joint. I'm going to leave it for now, but if it's a, there's if the lights don't work, that's probably the issue. Quality control with these could have been a bit of li little bit better okay so I got it drilled out and I found another screw it's not an exact match but it'll hold it together when you're putting this together there's a notch and a hole in the bottom part there make sure you line those two up uh, that way when you need to change your blinker fluid it has a place to drain now this just bolts on right here. The bolt goes through the hole here. And then you have a washer and this cup thing. I think
think you put the cup on first and then the washer. There were no instructions, so I'm just going what feels right. Goes on. Yeah, that feels right. Like that. I'm going to put the other one on the same way. Now this is the part where instructions would have come in handy. Uh, watch the install video that CJ Pony Parts has on their website. Unfortunately, the wiring harness for the 67 is different from the wiring harness they showed, which was for the 65 and 66. But one thing I'm pretty sure of is this wire here goes to the ground of the fog lights and this wire here goes to the other part of the headlights I guess that would be the positive side and then it feeds up to the firewall so I'm going to install these now I'm going to start with the ground on the driver's side I'm going to feed it through here so you can see what I'm doing and I'll attach that one there Nope. Wrong. I will feed the short one through here. And this will bolt down to the chassis somewhere. And then I will feed the long one. up under here in front of the radiator. And then this part Let's see if I can feed it through the hole down here. And put that on there. This gray wiring harness, you've got a long wire and a short wire joined here in the middle. The long wire goes up to the firewall and the short wire goes up between the two fog lights. So attach here on the driver's side where there's two wires coming out and then grab your short wire and feed it to the other fog light. Now this long wire, you can follow the existing wiring harness. There are clips along the way. Right here. Up here. Under the brace. And then there should be a hole in the firewall to feed that through. I would film installing all of this, but this is the area I have to work with. And I can't even see what I'm doing without a camera. So I'll have to explain it and maybe do a drawing. Okay, I think I figured out. This goes to the fog light switch. The blue wire goes to the relay. This other wire goes to the ignition or a power source that turns on when the ignition is on. The gray wire goes to the harness we fed through the dash. The black wire goes to the headlight switch. Now that I've got working bob lights, all I've got to do is clean up the wiring and close it up. But I've got one more project to do before I do that. It's sitting in the back seat right now. 